Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a video. I have not done any type of video like this before, but I wanted to do this for you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my top moves for building a better butt. Now I love that like lifting and fitness and being strong is coming into like fashion style. It's trending. It's the new thing. I think it's super cool. Um, and I, I, I am passionate about butts. I want to see your butt succeed. So today I put together my top moves for lifting and toning and growing your booty. Um, so if you guys didn't know, I have a fitness Instagram. It's called Beauty by Jo- um, what do I say? I have a fitness Instagram. It is called Gains by Jody. Very original, I know. Um, if you guys would like to follow me on there, I post a lot of nutrition and workout ideas and inspirational stuff. Um, but I wanted to make this video and put it out there for you guys. I know I mainly do makeup, but Fitness, if you guys didn't know, is a huge part of my life and I really, really enjoy it and I'm loving it right now, so I wanted to make this video for you guys. I want to talk quickly about growing the glutes. I think that your glutes are probably one of the hardest areas to grow. Everybody's body is different and everybody's body reacts differently to different types of exercise and nutrition, but the glutes are a big muscle group and for me personally, um, I started seeing changes after like probably five months. Um, you'll notice like it, your butt will get a lot firmer, but as far as like seeing it grow and like kind of perk out it took me like eight months like I'm just starting to see the results right now from like eight months of really hard work so my top tips for you guys for growing the booty is to kill every single leg day you want to make sure you're going really heavy and pushing yourself I like to wobble out of the gym if possible so you want to make sure that you're you're just putting a lot of effort into your leg days and you're getting the most out of every single leg day um, secondly is nutrition. For me personally, my body and everybody's body for- I'm not- okay guys, I'm not like a personal trainer at all. Like, it's just like stuff that I've noticed from my body and I notice that when I have carbs, I look a lot better. Like, if I look filled out. So, um, that's something to keep in mind is that you want to be eating enough carbs. You don't want to go low carb or anything like that. That's kind of your enemy in this case as far as like growing your muscle. And thirdly, I wanted to mention is that it's very important when you're doing booty exercises to don't forget to do your squats and your deadlifts. Those are very important. I don't, I've only deadlifted like three times in my life, so it's not necessary, but it's helpful. Um, but I wanted to mention it's very important to do isolated exercises. So a lot of people will stress on squats and deadlifting for growing your booty. And that is very true. And that does not mean to like completely abandon those. But with any exercise when you're doing, when you're working on your biceps, you're not going to necessarily go and do pull-ups to work on your biceps because those are activating your back, your shoulders, your arms. It's activating everything. So that's a compound movement. So also with squats and deadlifts, you're activating pretty much everything from like your core and below when you're doing squats, you're activating everything so it's a great exercise and you don't want to completely throw that out but keep in mind that you want to do some of these exercises that I show you a lot of them are isolated exercises um, especially a lot I do a lot of cable kickbacks a lot of like donkey kicks that type of thing because those are the the exercises that are really going to isolate that muscle and get it to contract also I want to mention with every single exercise I do you'll see me like squeeze my butt together and basically you make your butt look like a shriveled up prune and it's kind of necessary to grow the booty because you really want to make sure that you're keeping the tension on that muscle at all times so whenever you're doing a squat especially with heavy squats you want to pause at the top and really squeeze your butt cheeks together it looks ugly but I mean I think we've gotten over that I've gotten over that the fact that I'm gonna look interesting at the gym and so I just do what I gotta do to get the guys <laughs> That was funny. But without any further ado, I want to go ahead and show you guys the actual exercises and it let me know if you guys like this. Um, I have a couple more that I forgot, so I might be making a couple more videos of this on like as I continue to work out and find new methods that work for me. So um, yeah, if you guys haven't seen my before and after picture, go ahead and check out my Instagram, which is Gains by Jody. I have a butt transformation photo and I just noticed that it's really, really good. And I was like, I'm very proud of what I've accomplished. So um, those are my top tips I have for you guys. And without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video, watch this and learn. Okay. Okay, so we are starting off with some split squats, and these are some of my favorite exercises. So what you want to focus on the most is having a really nice wide stance and making sure that you're driving up through your heel. Um, and also make sure that you are keeping the tension on your glutes and squeezing at the top as always. So next we are moving on to good mornings and these are one of my favorite exercises. You don't want to go super heavy with these. You just want to make sure that you're bending right at the waist and if it helps you can always turn sideways um, to see your form so you make sure that you're not curving your back and then go ahead and squeeze your glutes at the top of this exercise. 
So next we are doing Romanian deadlifts and I have to say these are probably the most important exercises that I do in my leg and glute routine. So what you want to do is really focus on bending down first before you bend your knees. So you want to bend down as far as you can before you kind of start to slightly bend your knees and then squeeze your glutes up at the top and I absolutely love this move. It's probably one of my favorites. So next we have good old cable kickbacks and I'm doing this variation on a bench. I like this because you get a lot higher of a kick and you can really get a better squeeze with this move. Um, so just make sure and keep your back straight and use your glutes to pull it up and squeeze at the top. And next we have just regular cable kickbacks and these are definitely one of the game changers um, when you're trying to grow your glutes as well. Well. And then we have kind of a new variation. I just started doing these and I really like them a lot. So it's like a squat kind of, but kind of a side lunge too. Um, and you don't want to use very much weight with this just because you want to actually make sure you're doing the form right. But really focus on pulling that leg out and getting a nice deep squat. Um, I wasn't going as deep as I usually go just because I was really tired from today's leg workout. But I also really like these exercises as well. So next I'm using one of these bands that I got off of Amazon and I'm putting it around my ankles and doing like a squat walk across and these are great to do at the end of your leg workout to really burn out your glutes and your hamstrings. Um, so I like to do about three sets of these, just one set going back and forth and then I actually super setted them with these cable kickbacks using the actual band and these are really great as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to grow your glutes and if you like this give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye!